Tinimbu must go. Supreme Court judges makes you turn. Tinimbu is a forger. Breaking news. Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is unbelievable that the Supreme Court of this particular country has just truncated the constitution. They have just thwarted the constitution. It is so unbelievable. And come to think of it, the Supreme Court came back and used the same technicality that was administered in the tribunal judgment. All the criminal activities of this particular man has just been wrapped up simply because he has forged and lied over matters that are so clear and glaring. It is not very much obvious that a lot of persons are now very free to go about their forgery and whatsoever they could do to make sure they are guided because the judges will shield them so far that you are in power. That is what the Supreme Court has just stated. And that is why a lot of persons, prominent politicians and some, some persons who are not happy with the administer of the judgment released by the Supreme Court has not stated it outrightly that the constitution should be reviewed. Sincerely speaking, the constitution of this particular country should be reviewed. There are some constitution, there are some laws and doctrines that are no longer in existence, that are not supposed to be held on. Sincerely speaking, it ought to be reviewed. For crying out loud, if you're in Nigeria and now holding a Nigerian passport, you are now a potential criminal suspect by the decision of the Supreme Court affirming Bola Metinimbu, a drug dealer, certificate forger, someone who has prominently forged a certificate from a reputable school, brought the school into mud, and of which the school stated outrightly that they did not issue a certificate to a male, that they issued a certificate to a female, of which the transcript of the school document surfaced. And these are evidences that are so clear and glaring. But the Supreme Court thwarted it. The Supreme Court, as the apex court, of this, as apex court of this particular country, did not see the evidences. They went and started using technicalities. They don't know the damage they have brought upon this particular country. What is the reason of making a U-turn? What is now the reason of making a U-turn? Of which the FBI has stated it outrightly. They are going to release documents related to this particular man in question who is sitting at the apex of this particular country. And 2,500 documents on a man. As if that is not enough, other agencies are also stating that is the more reason he went fervently to tell them not to release those documents. Trying to cover up those documents. He who comes to equity must come with clean hands. Bola Metinimbo has now shown that forgery is now a legalized crime in this particular country. The judiciary of this country has just been thwarted. The question is, even the European Union that attended the last presidential election and they were there as observers, even when they brought out their 20-something observations they gave to the Independent National Commission so that they are going to amend their ways and bring up a workable modality to make sure that the election pro electoral process in this particular country is well redeemed. What then would they say when they see the truncated and um, forgery judgment given by the, this seven-man panel? It is so, so unbelievable. Now, the Federal Capital Territory, Abuja, not to the fact that Bola Mentinibu did not get 100% aggregate vote. Yes, now that the Supreme Court has affirmed this and wrote and withdrew all the appeal and the petitions and the rest of it just to shield Bola Mentinibu, it is now obvious that Abuja is now a state. Yes, Abuja should be seen as a state. They should be treated as such. They should have their own governor and House of Representative members and the Senate members in that place. Simply because they, are, they, can, they should be seen as a state. Because I can't, there's no reason why a candidate did not score 25% aggregate vote and the Supreme Court did not see it as a requisite factor to disqualify him. Now, a lot of persons are still reacting that Tinimbu must go. Tinimbu must go, that the Supreme Court should speak up. They should speak up. Admitting to the fact that they made mistake, they should now understand that they have made a lot of blunder. They have made sure that this constitution of this particular country should be reviewed. Sincerely speaking, this is unbelievable. Well, whether they like it or not, whether the Supreme Court gave their judgment or they threw away the petition as regarded to the appeal as regarded to P2Bs and Atiku Abubakar, they have just made sure that the fact has always now remained that whether the Supreme Court has said the fresh evidences of certificate forgery against Bola Metinimbo or not, the fact remains that Tinimbo forged a Chicago State certificate that he tendered before the Independent National Electoral Commission. The Supreme Court has just ridiculed this particular country. And as if that is not enough, look at the damages that the Supreme Court has now rendered this particular country into. Everything about Bola Metinimbu is fraudulent. 
His everything about him is unknown. The education is forced. The age is forced. The source of his wealth is unknown. The, he, his his real parents are unknown. Even his identity is unknown and forged. All these are what the Supreme Court did not even see. If they are making you turn, they ought to now make sure that the constitution of this particular country is reviewed by going back to see the fraudulent activities of this, of this particular man. Because if they fail to do this, they have truncated and have now legalized forgery as a requisite to contest in any, any election in this particular country. It is obvious the lot of things has now been damaged with what the Supreme Court has now done as regards to the identity and as regards to the status quo of this particular country. Yes, it is obvious that Bola Metinimbo has been having secret meetings with the judiciaries before even this judgment. Because that is the more reason he went and told them that, please, they should not allow the FBI and CIA to release his confidential records, that he will be, that he will be badly damaged if they release those records. It is obvious. And that what whatever meeting they have they had has now been revealed with this truncated judgment they administered. It is obvious. What is the inter interrelationship with other countries? How would the Westerners, how would the international world see the judiciary of this particular country? It is quite clear that since the masses cannot get a clear verdict from the judiciary, they have started moving on that match of Tinubu must go. And it is obvious why Tinubu will never be accepted by millions of Nigerians. He can never be accepted because the inspiration and role modeling of this particular man is questionable. His trust and confidence in the judiciary is nothing to write home about, of which the masses are no longer happy with what is happening. How can someone who is sitting at the opposite of this particular country is not accountable and transparent in all his dealings? Now he has conglomerated with the Supreme Court and they have issued judgment and they have quashed the appeal of these prominent persons that want to fight and salvage the democracy of this particular country. React on the comment section. Now that the Supreme Court has now seen the reaction from persons over making, making sure that they make you turn, stating that Tinimbu is a forger because the evidences are so clear and glaring from the lamentations of people.